Have you ever gone to the health food store or Whole Foods and you're thinking, yeah, I'm going to get healthy. I'm going to go over to those bulk food bins and I'm going to be all eco and, and buy my food in bulk and buy healthy stuff. And then what do you see? You see all those delicious bins full of yummy, nutty, sweet, organic, fabulous, or not organic, expensive granola. I love granola. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. But granola is expensive. So today, we're going to make granola. Made granola. So easy, so frugal. Oh yes, and you can control the ingredients and you can make it however you want and it's going to be delicious. We're starting off with three cups of oats in a bowl while our oven is preheating to 350. I have a cup of almonds here. You could do this really with any type of nut. Almonds, pecans, walnuts, hazelnuts. I happen to have some almonds, so I'm gonna chop them up into smaller pieces. And also normally I would put some salt in the granola so you have that salty sweet combo, but these nuts are already salted. They're quite salty. So I'm not gonna add any other salt to the granola. We're just gonna chop, chop, chop. Alrighty, so there are our almonds chopped up. However big you want them, that is up to you. Because as Chef John would say, you're the king tuts of your nuts. Why does that sound a little perverted? Hi, yay, yay. Let's add the nuts into our oats. Now I like my granola sprinkled on my fruit and yogurt that I like to have for breakfast. So if this doesn't come out in, you know, great chunks of, of granola stuck together, that's fine because I'm a granola sprinkler. But there is something that is appealing about a big old chunk of granola that's a lot like a um, oatmeal cookie, isn't there? All right, so next step, over to the stove. All right, here we have our saucepan on a medium to low heat. This is where things get a little weird. This is where Amy's innovation takes over from the real recipe. Because what you're supposed to do is have half a cup of oil, and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar that you add into your oats and nuts. But I do not wanna do that. I want mine to be a little lower calorie if I can accomplish that. So I'm gonna to try to put in about a quarter of a cup of canola oil into this pot. Bloop, bloop. Trying to limit the fat here a little bit. Then instead of brown sugar, I am using Splenda. Oops, Splenda, that's going in there. And the reason I am putting this together on the stove first is so that Splenda can all melt into the oil and then it will disperse more evenly into the oats and nuts. Then we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. And if you have maple extract, that is perfection. That's like adding maple syrup to your granola, but you're not having the calories. I, of course, don't have any maple extract in the house right now, so I'm just going with the vanilla. So we're gonna melt this slightly odd concoction down a little bit, and then we're just gonna pour it over the granola, and we're gonna do our best to coat it evenly. So that Splenda melts away, right away. We're gonna now put this over the oats, stir it all together, and then add some cinnamon. Back at the oat bowl. So, stir some of this over, and we'll toss it around. Sometimes I put it in a big baggie, and I kind of do the shake and bake method of, of tossing and stirring. But I thought this glass bowl would just look prettier for the video. Sure, it would probably work better if I used the full amount of oil, but granola, can be pretty fattening. And I'm trying to make it be something that I can convince myself is a little bit healthier. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do my version of a slightly lower calorie granola by cutting out a little bit of the oil and then replacing the sugar with the Splenda. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on and toss that around and hopefully not overdo it. 
I have a heavy hand with cinnamon usually. Alrighty, our last ingredient is going to be some shredded coconut. You can put in about half a cup. You can put in as much as you want. And you can omit the coconut if you don't like coconut. And of course, sweetened coconut, not particularly low calorie. But I just kind of thought it would go nicely with my purposes for the granola, which is sprinkling on top of the yogurt and fruit. Of course, you could put in cashews. You could put in other other kinds of grains besides oats if you wanted. Uh, you could put in flax seed or chia seed or millet. Uh, if you want to add raisins, I think you would want to do that after it bakes because otherwise the raisins just turn into these little crunchy hard rocks and they're not that pleasant anymore. So add raisins at the end, though I don't think I'm going to be putting um, I don't think I'm going to be putting raisins in mine. All right, we're going to spread this out on our trusty old cookie sheet. The operative word being old. Well, also trusty. I trust you, cookie sheet, I do. We're going to spread it out. We're going to put it in the 350 oven, and we are going to stir it every few minutes because I find with oats, even if you haven't actually burned them, if you've just sort of overcooked them a little bit, they kind of taste burned. They're not burned, they're barely brown, and yet they taste burned. So we want to make sure to keep stirring this and not overcook it. That's the perfect amount to fit on this cookie tray. Alrighty, so I popped that granola in the 350 degree oven and I turned the timer on for five minutes so I don't forget to go back and stir it. been about 25 minutes. We have the oat cakes in the top and the granola is coming out. So now we set it to cool and then we'll give it a taste. It's still very hot but I want to try it right now. I love granola. Yum! It's delicious. I was actually afraid it might not be sweet enough but it definitely is. Mm, yum, 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 yum. yum! Success! Yum! I cannot wait to try that with my fruit and yogurt deliciousness. I hope you try that at home. It is very good. It is much more frugal than buying your fancy granola from the bulk bins at Whole Foods or your local grocery store. Make it yourself. Yes, you should. See you later. Bye-bye.